So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time with this antique wood splitter that my father and I owned. We, we inherited it from my grandfather. Uh, the story of the splitter goes back to the 1940s. My great uncle inherited a farm with two engines on it. And he built a homemade wood splitter out of two stationary engines. So for you people that don't know what a stationary engine is, I'll, uh, I'll go through it, I'll explain it, and we'll uh, watch it run. But he split wood on his farm until the 50s with it. And it sat idle for about 20 years, and then my grandfather purchased it in 1970. I split wood with it with my family here in this on this property uh, until the 80s when we got a conventional wood splitter. So that's the story of that. Let me explain it, and then we'll demo it. So, all you people that don't know what a stationary engine is, I want you just to look from here up. This is this is one engine. This is a three horse engine, stationary engine that they used back in the 1920s or earlier for stationary equipment, wash machines, pumps, and stuff like that. This is the power unit. This is one engine. This is a three horse. Okay. And what they did is now look at the bottom. The bottom was an engine just like this one. He cut the water jacket off right here. He cut this water jacket off of the of the bottom engine and bolted this three horse onto this, this this bigger one was probably a 12, probably about a 10 or 12 horse. So this three horse is bolted on top of the 12 horse where the water jacket was. Took the head off and we'll go around the other side. I run the two belts in between off of this flywheel onto the flywheel of the big engine. It'll turn the bottom engine. And when it took the head off, you welded a wedge onto the piston. So when this runs, your wedge is going in and out. Like so. Not a safe operation. <laughs> but we used it for a lot of years. So let's fire it up and we'll show you split some wood with it.
cool, but it's just a water jacket. If you get a shot of that, the water just sits there and evaporates. But when you're running, you always gotta keep track of it.